Hi everyone, it's Franny from Heidi and Franny's Garage and today we have an oil change in a 2006 Porsche Carrera 4S. <laughs> Tools and supplies we'll need. On the far right there is my torque wrench, then next to that is an 8mm hex we'll use to get the drain plug off the bottom of the car, and my ratchet next to that. Then to the left of that is my Hazit oil filter socket that I used to get the oil filter covers off. That works really well for that. To the left of that is the Blackstone oil analysis container. So we're going to be taking some of the oil from the drain and sending it off to Blackstone for analysis. To the left of that is our new oil filter cartridge and the rubber gasket that it comes with. In front of that are our aluminum crush washers, for we just need one, for the drain plug. Then to the left, of course, our funnel. Then to the left of that are 10 quarts of synthetic oil. Behind that are our oil receptacles. We want to make sure they're big enough to handle all the oil. To the right, shop towels and roll towel, and then our rubber gloves. I'll run you through the steps for today. Now this is not my car, it's a friend's car, and he's already driven it over, so it's good and warm. So we don't have to take the car out and warm it up, it's already warm, otherwise that'd be the first step. Then the first thing we're going to do is pull the fuse for the fuel pump and run the car out of gas. Now that sounds funny, but we're going to need that when we go ahead and put the oil back in and start the car up. We're going to want it to crank over a bit without it actually starting, just to bring the oil levels up without any force from the engine running. Great, so once that's done, we'll go ahead and raise the car up. We'll pull the drain plug and begin draining the oil. We'll get our Blackstone container and get a little bit of oil in that. And then we're going to pull the, fu uh, the filter cover out and pull our filter out. And we're gonna actually cut that open and pull the pleats out a little bit and take a look inside and make sure there isn't any nasties in there. Once we're done with all that, we'll go ahead and replace the filter, and then we're going to fill our cup about halfway up with oil as we put that thing in. That also helps sort of uh, remove some of the air that's in the system. We'll get that all up in there and get that torque to spec, and then we'll put the new drain plug in with the new crush washer on that and get that all set. Then we can go ahead and add our oil, and we've got 10 quarts of oil to add. And then we'll go ahead and crank the engine over a bit and get everything flowing through. We'll replace our, our fuse for the fuel filter, run the engine up a bit and make sure everything's fine, our levels look good. If we need to add any oil, we'll do it then. We'll also check for leaks. And that's pretty much it. The fuel pump fuse is this one down here in A, B, C, D, one position. So we pull our little fuse puller out and grab that fuse and go ahead and pull that out. We can leave it right here for now. With our fuel pump fuse out, we can go ahead and try to start the car now. All right, great. So now the car won't start, which is what we were looking for. So now we can go ahead and get started with our oil change. So our first step before we actually start draining the oil is to pull the filler cap. Now in this car, the filler neck actually sits down here a little bit into a crevice and we just need to pull it up. It takes a little bit of a tug and it'll snap. There it goes. Make kind of a loud noise, but that's it. Okay, now that it's up, go ahead and pull our filler cap off. We always want to inspect our gasket in here as well to make sure that it's sealing and feels nice and soft and this one feels fine. It's nice and soft and pliable, which is what it should be. Okay, with that sitting there, now we can go ahead and drain the oil. Our drain plug is right here. It's an eight millimeter hex, so we're just gonna use our eight millimeter hex bit here and crack this loose. There we go. With our plug loose, we're going to pull the drain pan back. Now we want to make sure that we have at the ready our Blackstone container so we can grab some oil in midstream here. So this always gets a little crazy, so let's see how this goes. All right, so we'll loosen this up. Here we go. Let it flow for a little bit. 
Maybe we'll grab some oil midstream. There we go, it's perfect. We'll go ahead and let that drain. Alright, at this point we can remove our big oil container and put in a little one. Alright. With our oil draining, the next step is going to be to do the oil filter. So we've got our oil filter cover socket here and the oil filter is right here. This is pretty simple. We just put our socket on there and unscrew this guy. All right. Now you'll want something underneath this because it will get a little bit oily. There we go. There we go. Yeah, always lets a bit of oil out. All right, we can let that drain from here. All right, so we just wiggled down our filter and we're going to take this away and cut it open and check to look for any bad things in it. So now that we have the filter out, I'm going to go ahead and cut it out and I'm going to pull out all the pleats. And kind of the easiest way to do that is just to use a razor blade and cut along the hard plastic edges here. Now this may seem like kind of a lot of work and kind of a big pain in the buns, but uh, the information that the filter can give you is well worth the effort. So I totally suggest you do this every single time you uh, change your oil filter. It, it really only takes a few minutes. So now we can open up the pleats here and take a look at what we've got. So you're going to see little bits of little black goop or stuff. That's normal, that's not a problem at all. What we're really looking for the worst would be shiny bits, very shiny bits. And uh, I don't see anything like that in here at all. All I'm seeing is just a little bit of little brown goopies, which is exactly what we should see. And you just sort of paw through it and pull through each little pleat here as you go. Usually if there's something wrong, it's pretty obvious. The entire filter is just covered with particles. And if that's the case, so this car is a 2006 and uh, the IMS bearing switched mid-year in 2006 from a serviceable to a not serviceable bearing. Like you have to take the whole case apart to do it. Um, so Porsche pretty much had this thing reasonably licked by then actually. So it wasn't that bad. So I wouldn't expect to see any problems with this. If this was a 986 or a 996, so the older cars from 2000 on, then yes, that can be a thing. So, but we're seeing a completely clean filter here. Nothing to be worried about at all. In order to prep our filter cup, we're gonna have to replace the O-ring that's on here. Now they gave us a brand new one with the filter itself, which is great. There's a teeny slot right here. So you wanna be careful not to mess up any of the threads or any of the uh, ridge along here at all when you're pulling this off. So they, they give you this nice little slot. So you just put your tool in there, hook the old washer and pull it off. Okay, great. And then our new one's gonna go right over the top of this and just roll it back down into that same slot. So it's going to be the first slot here is the one we want the, the new rubber gasket in. So just roll this down. Make sure it's in all the way around and it looks happy. All right. Now my hands are greasy enough or full of oil enough, so that's going to oil this gasket a bit, which is great. If you ever have trouble getting these gaskets off or getting these uh, filter covers off, you can use a little bit of silicone grease around this as well, but I think this oil is probably fine. We've got our 
new oil filter, our canister's all cleaned, and we've got our new crush washer on our drain plug. Now that we have our drain plug uh, prepped and we have our new washer, we're ready to put it back up. We'll just go ahead and clean this a bit. And we'll go ahead and start our plug. Okay. We can slide our tray back now. And we're going to torque our drain plug to 37 foot-pounds. We cinch it down, we come back. There we go. All right. Next we'll go ahead and reinstall our filter. All we have to do is press it up into the, uh, the filter housing up here. We just push it up there until it seats. Okay, we're all set there. So with our filter cup, we're going to fill it about halfway with new oil. You don't want to go much more than halfway because we've got the filter in here as well. So the reason we're filling it is because we want to make sure that there's the least amount of air in the oil system so when the car starts, the bearings get filled with oil as quickly as possible. Okay, so now we have this half filled. We'll go ahead and reinstall it. This gets torqued to 19 foot-pounds. Right. We'll put this up slowly. You can let the filter take up some of the oil that's in there. There we go. Okay, there it goes. And then 19 foot-pounds. That's it. All right, we're all set under here. We have our drain plug torqued to 37 foot-pounds and our oil container here to 19 foot-pounds. So we're just going to use our rag and sort of dry up any extra oil that you see around here and we're done under the car. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add the oil. The capacity on the car is about nine quarts or so. So we're gonna Try to get close to that, probably more around eight or so. Remember, we still have some in our filter cup as well. All right, that should be a good start. We'll go ahead and start the car now and get everything circulating through a little bit and get a check on our oil level. All right, remember we have our fuel pump fuse out, so the car won't start, but we're just gonna crank it over a bit. Looks like our oil level is showing pretty full there, which is great, but we'll go ahead and crank it up, crank it a bit. All right, now we can replace our fuse. All right, we replace our fuse here. Fuel pump fuse, put this guy back. Put our door back on here, there we go. All right. All right, this time we'll start our car for reals. There we go. So our oil pressure gauge looks great over here. We'll let it run for a minute or two. All right, I think that's enough. We can go ahead and turn off the engine. So it looks like we have about a half an hour to wait to check the oil. And that's always kind of a bummer, but they want to make sure that the oil drains down out of the engine so that they can get a proper reading. So we're going to have to wait a little bit to check our oil. 2,000 years later. Okay, we've waited our half an hour here. Let's see what our oil level is. There we go. We can see our oil level is a little bit low. 
Looks like we need about maybe two thirds of a quart. So we'll go ahead and add just a little bit more oil. Let's do a final check on our oil level. All right, looks like our oil level is right where we need it to be. With our oil level right where it needs to be, our last step is just to put our oil cap back on. There we go. And then we just snap this tube back down. And that's it. We're all done. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video of an oil change in a Porsche 997 Carrera 4S. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. If you got any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below and I'll get right to them. You can also follow us on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook as well. So thank you so, so much for watching. And until next time, safe travels. Bye.